Here we are again with another uh, new vehicle coming to War Thunder that I am going to talk about. And I'm talking about it because, yeah, you see it in the title. I definitely titled this uh, pretty pretty clickbaity, but it's not clickbait. It's not. Uh, they're adding a Mistral version of the Saddam. Now, if you don't know what the Saddam is, it's the top tier AA for Italy. I almost said Russia. I don't know why. But basically, if you know what the Mistral is, it's the same type of missile that is on the Gazelle. It's a fire and forget SAM. Uh, well, it would be a SAM in this case, not an air to air. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have some type of radar lock from the ground that will track by itself. It's fire and forget missile, long range heat seeking missile, uh, lack of search radar and limited number of missiles. Th th those are the cons for this vehicle. You get six of them. So <laughs> potentially you could shoot down six planes, fire and forget. Uh, let's let's just make sure that's the case, okay? Let's just make sure. We're gonna read this first and uh, really get to the bottom of this. There's a mobile anti-air platform with combines both conventional gun armament with an effective missile system. In terms of general characteristics, tankers pretty much look the same as the Saddam 25, which have are some have already made their acquaintance with. The biggest twist, however, it comes in the shape of its standout feature: the six surface-to-air missiles. Uh, these missiles, perhaps familiar to some French helicopter pilots out there, are unlike Tunguska's manually guided missiles. Heat-seeking infrared IR missiles. This means that aspiring commanders of this machine won't have to keep the target in sight in order to destroy it, but will simply need to achieve a, a successful lock-on in order to fire the missile and potentially destroy the designated target. Thanks to the Mistral SAMs, the effective range of the S Saddam is potentially 5.5 kilometers. Now... <clears throat> Saddams are, or not Saddams, Mistrals are all aspect missiles, from the chopper at least. So you can shoot at planes from the front or the back, which means the bottom too. It doesn't matter. You don't necessarily have to be uh, behind a plane. Now, what, what that's called is rear aspect or all aspect. Rear aspect meaning you'd have to be behind the jet for it to get a lock on the heat signature coming off the engine to follow it. Uh, all aspect, it just needs to see the heat signature of the plane in the sky, it'll find its mark. Uh, although the addition of the Mistral to the Saddam might make it seem like the vehicle's capabilities have been substantially increased, it's worth keeping several s distinct drawbacks in mind. For starters, the Saddam 25 is not fitted with a search radar, meaning that commanders of this machine will need to make out and search for targets manually. So this is going to be the same type of button that you do with the chopper, right? So you'll see a dot in the sky. You'll press a button, a circle will come up with the IR, right? And then the missile will find the uh, target and lock it itself, and then you'll launch it. Um, furthermore, due to the Mistral SAMs being IR missile, their effectiveness relies on their own tracking ability, meaning they may be fooled with the use of countermeasures or the sun. I don't know if they're going to put the sun in this, but or the sun. Uh, while players will have no further control over the missile's behavior once it leaves the launcher. Lastly, the Saddam Mistral will have at least the least number of guided missiles available at its disposal during battle compared to other top tier SPA. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. In all, all in all, uh, the Saddam will offer fans of Italian ground forces an improved version of an already familiar SPA platform that comes with its own unique set of advantages and disadvantages. What do you guys think about this? I'm making a quick video on it because I honestly think this is more balanced than the Tunguska. I think this is the the better idea, right? Uh, because, listen, you're going to get a radar lock when you're in your plane. Hopefully, they add IR flares for the newer jets that are coming into the game. And choppers already get IR flares. So on top of that, if you're able to identify one of these on the ground, you're able to avoid it using countermeasures, which is balance. That's what, I, that's what we've wanted for so long. And, you know, that's the issue with the Tunguska and the ADATs. There's no balance when it's a manually guided missile. So, in my opinion, listen, I might be I might be one of the only ones. I don't know. I think I'm not. But take the ADATs and take the Tunguska out and put some type of missile systems like this in. Please. Guys and police. Seriously. Take them out. Put something that are fire and forget for uh, Russia and America. And then we can end the role of all of them. I mean, the Roland, I think, is fine. Honestly, I think the Roland is all right. It's pretty shit, to be honest. And I think that the... Uh, what's the one that fires the Star Streak? The Stormer? I think that's pretty fine. Uh, but the Tunguska and the ADATs, 
if they remove those and put something in their place, like the the linebacker or something that has some type of guiding missile that is fire and forget, so you can't manipulate the system and hit people who don't know that you're about to be hit. Uh, I think it would add so much more balance and like we'd have a use for flares We don't really use flares too much uh, in this game right now getting a lock on a chopper and a jet is Damn near impossible considering how low to the ground they always are and whatnot But uh, unless you're in another chopper, of course So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that's a good idea that I just came up with or nah? I don't know. Let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments I'm kind of excited for this though. I think this is gonna be a way more balanced idea than uh, just adding some type of other vehicle that can fire and manually guide these into whatever the fuck it wants. I don't know. Well, I'll see you guys later on today. I'll be live too. So check that out. Peace. Peace.